Hello, my name's Aston Van Mai. We've come back for a first time read for TV. And we're today, we're going to talk about lighting, how to show you how we light up our tank. Now, before we get into talking about the light, Aston would like to tell us a little bit of information about... The light, okay, tell me about the light. So, the light compared to the stronger one at the back can run like for 40 hours, then the smaller one turns on off a little bit, um, a little bit, a little bit earlier. So, the amount of it is a little bit stronger than the other stuff. I light. totally agree, mate. Now, can I run through with everyone a little bit more details about the light? Yes, yeah. okay. So as you can see, the Illumagic style I've got mounted here is quite high off the top of the tank. And now that's going to help, obviously, the spread over the tank from the light. Um, if it was very close, I just wouldn't get that end-to-end -end spread there that I can uh, with it mounting at that high. Um, I don't need a huge amount of power, so I can get away with that. Uh, and that is going to be one of the reasons that an Illumagic style can cover a three-foot tank. Now... Uh, like I said in the last video, you can see there that the light's running two different schedules. So you've got the front schedule here, which is predominantly blue, uh, which is going to be for my LPS and etc. that don't require a huge amount of light. And then you've got the back section here, which is running a much more stronger spectrum and uh, PAR level. And that's because all of my SPS are actually just stacked all across the back there and across the top. So. Uh, so far that is working. I am playing around with the light settings very, very slowly because uh, I don't want to mess it up too much. Um, just to try and extract that little bit more color and get the SPS cranking a little bit more. But I am getting color in my coral, in my SPS. Uh, the camera's not going to pick it up that great. But there's a couple of new additions there that haven't quite colored up. These guys just won't color rot for me, but I'm going to work that out. But so far, so good. It is working for me. Now, another reason that, you know, the, the supplemental, uh, the, the light is lighting it up so well is because it's supplemented by these two uh, vitamin E strips as well. Now, these are just LED strips, actinic LED strips. I think there's seven different spectrums of blue in there. And you can see the back one here is just mounted, basically pointing straight down. And that's going to be pointing straight down on top of my SPS there. Uh, along the back wall and then I've got this one here which is angled a little bit more uh, towards the uh, towards the rockscape now what that allows is putting the beam out sort of this way for me to try and help me light up just underneath these sorts of sections here because once the vitamins go off you can see that that's essentially in darkness but it helps with that sort of even even coverage of light um, and it's certainly you know it's certainly working for me because uh, you can see from end to end of the tank there, it is completely uh, lit up. Now, uh, the Illumagic style is a Wi-Fi connectivity light. It is one of the best lights out there, in my opinion. Uh, plenty of par by running the two different pucks there side by side. I don't believe these actually bought into Australia anymore, unfortunately. Uh, they have been replaced by the Illumagic Blaze. Uh, which is a single light frame unit. This is essentially running two blazers side by side. Uh, but the other one's Bluetooth connectivity, so the connection uh, issues are much, uh, the, the connectivity is much easier using Bluetooth as opposed to Wi Fi. Because uh, when I do want to connect to this, I have to actually move my Wi Fi modem in here because I'm in the garage. So, um, I mean, I'll show you guys again. Aston, do you want to show people? Turning off the light so we can see how much of a difference it is. Yep. Now, par readings, that's just going to... No, not, the, not that one. The first two up the top. Yeah. These two. These two. I'll turn it off. You can turn it off. All right, so that's the light there. So, in regards to par, I've got about probably 250, 300 running up the top here. 200 along the sides and obviously just a little bit more along the edges. A little bit less on the edges. And from here, I'm running about 50 to 75 par, and same on the other side. And the majority of this is blanketed in about 100 to 150 par, roughly. And that seems to be perfect. I have recently just moved my Monty cap uh, over to the front section here, so I can just fill in that corner nicely. 
without shading over anything. I found that it was a little bit out of place just sitting up the top there and eventually when it grew uh, it was going to shade a lot of the coral anyway. So uh, can we turn the, the little strip lights back on now Aston? We can just see. And if you have a look especially in there, once Aston turns it back on you're going to see the difference that the colour just pops again because you can see that with that angle I'm just getting past that little bit of a hanging lip of rock there and it's lighting up. Now there are still some spots uh, that are dark because that is literally underneath the, the ledge there and uh, I'm, I'm thinking I want to get a couple of uh, sun coral or saying in there um, so it's uh, it doesn't mind the darkness but easy, it's quite still easily accessible to uh, feed um, but that guys is my lighting schedule now you can e if you do get it on uh, you can get the vitamin strips mounted with some acrylic mounts which essentially puts it right next to the light there I think on a 30 or 40 degree angle roughly um, which does look a little bit sleeker um, but for personally myself I love these legs because uh, if I want to change my scape in any way shape or form I can just move and slide these along the side of the tank if I want to bring the light back this way if I want to bring it back that way I can adjust the angles this way and that way so like I said if I need the light shining straight down or mounting it back but I think supplemental lights like this is definitely a necessity uh, because it just blends all the light together and uh, you know that, that even blanket of light so uh, the the vitamin strips the actinic strips certainly contribute to the um, the amount of color pop that you can get out of this tank and you know the hammer garden especially these last couple of days since I filmed the tank last is uh, looking super super happy and um, as you can see everything is, is is blanketed in a good amount of light and obviously that comes down to a lot of coral placement as well and uh, you gotta you know know where yeah give me one second you just gotta know by using well I use my Senai reef monitor just to measure the par um, across the board so then I can get my coral placement done right but um, I'll do a, a rollover of the lighting schedule for you guys now because it took me a long time to actually work out the lighting schedule for my Illimagic style so I'll be more than happy to share it with you guys but Aston's got a couple of words to say now so, so we're gonna get the tank ready for the next tank to until we get the tank ready till we get the water and the fish and the cola and the frat racks okay you can't wait to show everyone the new tank can you uh-huh neither can i I hope that answers a couple of questions about the lighting schedule that I'm running on my tank from the Illimagic style and the Vita Mini strips. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave it in a comment down below. If you like this video, smash that like button and be sure to subscribe because there is plenty of content coming. And we're doing life support systems in the summer next, aren't we, Esther? Yeah, and then I'm going to get the big tank ready soon tomorrow. Fantastic. My friends, until next time, peace out. Oh.
after morning tea. After morning tea? Yeah. Okay. We need to have afternoon tea now, don't we? Yeah. What would you like for afternoon tea? Do you have any more information for 